video with my honorable <laughs> ambassador yes it's yet another cook video and this is just a simple local dish a simple local dish that we're just going to be having for breakfast and i thought to myself like why not just carry you guys along like you know why don't just carry you guys along so i'm gonna be making local palm oil sauce and boiled yam yes that's what we're going to be having for breakfast and my lovely ambassador is going to be assisting me in the kitchen so without further wasting your time let's head right into the kitchen if you're not subscribed to bumsy spot at this point please just go and hit the subscribe button before you continue this video but either ways let's jump straight into this video and head into the kitchen i'll see you guys in the kitchen let's so these are the ingredients i'm going to be using to make this delicacy this local delicacy today and i'll just have to take the camera closer so i can show you guys the ingredients up close first off i have my pounded fresh pepper and tetashi yes i like it pounded i don't like to blend it because it will be too smooth you know where you're going local you have to just everything just has to be local this is grandma style this is how they make it in the village this is grandma style you know if you're in the village itself is what they call it stone they use in grinding pepper but this is this is how i like it not so smooth rough and yeah so i have crayfish here and then i have oporo this is oporo the bigger size of prawn I said bigger size of crayfish is also dried prawns also and then i have my goat's meat because i'm going to be adding goat's meat roasted goat's meat into the mix yeah and i have fresh pepper sorry i have fresh tomatoes i said fresh pepper i have fresh tomatoes and then this is onion ball i'll cut it right now and then i have my scent leaf i also have ugu which is vegetable leaf that i'm going to be mixing the two together and yeah this is my palm oil so yeah this is about it not really about it but let me show you guys also i have my oziza seed i'm going to blend it right now it gives it that local imimi taste sweet taste and then i'm going to be using no cubes yeah I'm going to be using no cubes. Don't you're going local. No need for you to use star maggi or chicken maggi. Just transition to your no. So I'm going to be using no cubes and let's get cooking. Let me also show you guys the yam. The yam is already on fire boiling. Yeah, so you guys, this is the yam. It's boiling. We're going to have the sauce with yam. So the yam is already boiling with a pinch of salt. Once it gets soft, I'll turn off the fire. And if the sauce is ready by then, we're going to save.
and I'm done eating. I'm sure my mouth can sell me off. There's pepper around it, but I'm done cooking. I'm done eating, and you guys could see. Usually, like I didn't even cook it the way as in I'm planning on doing another video to show you guys all the complete ingredients. By the time I opened my fridge, I realized that my opaka that I bought had gone bad. So opaka is uba. Yeah, I was telling you guys that what they call it. Um, by the time I opened my fridge, I saw that my opaka was bad, so I didn't end up using it. But usually, I use opaka, and opaka is uba. I'll see if I can insert the picture either here or here. Yeah, we use it to garnish and it comes out looking really, really tasty, yummy, so sweet. Yes, and you can see that the tomato, pepper, onion, I didn't really cook, cook, cook it like for it to get really soft and soggy. I just cooked it like medium because you know you want to still be crunching your onion. <laughs> But anyways guys, I'm sure you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, as in cook videos are not easy at all. But of course, your girl, your girl will keep giving you guys content. Because I see that you guys enjoy a lot of my food content. I get a couple of messages even in my DM telling me thank you for this recipe. I've tried it. So yummy. I love it. Yeah. So you guys, thank you so, so much. I'm not going to stop giving you guys good recipe tasty recipe just continue supporting your girl and let me tell you guys something the first time i ever opened youtube like the first time i really wanted to come on youtube i wanted to be a faceless youtuber like i didn't want to show my face nothing and the first name i used was bomsi kitchen yes bomsi kitchen and i have an instagram page for that also so that when i like so when i post pictures i can also refer you guys to my instagram from instagram i can also refer people to my youtube channel so it was bouncy kitchen but you guys i see that you guys enjoy my lifestyle also sharing my family content and all but anyways you guys thank you guys so much for the massive love and support keep supporting your girl and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like share subscribe Love you all, bye. <laughs>